In this week's edition of A Loving Home, we introduce you to a young girl with a unique story. Angie Casada joins us in the studio. Angie, this is really a, a race against time with this story. Absolutely. Ken, Shayla, many of us growing up always had that security in getting a second chance in life and experiences and in opportunities. But for 16-year-old Lydiana, it's, it's different. She's in search for her first chance at life as the teenage girl she is. Jennifer Bailey knows Lydiana's story very well. Lydiana came from, with, from Guatemala, um, and she wasn't really given the chance to, you know, have the teenage life here in the U.S. Lydiana came to the United States and was introduced to a life that she wasn't ready for. She was forced to start a family at a very young age. Um, so that makes it a very unique situation. Um, she does have a, a son who is one and a half years old, and she desires for both of them to be together, but she is not ready to be the mother of um, Christopher. Lydiana is pleading to keep Christopher in her life. Like, right now I want Christopher. I'm trying to raise him as my brother and be together forever but I don't want to lose him. They are the only ones they have here in the U.S. Um, that's, that's all she's known is her and Christopher. Lydiana is in need of someone who will foster to adopt her and Christopher as soon as possible. It's very you know, time pressing for them to remain in the same home because right now we're given six months to find a foster to adopt placement for them to be together. I think it's important because it's like, Mine, like, he's like my blood, and he's a piece of me, like. He's a piece of you. Yeah. And what are you hoping just to have with, with Christopher? What kind of life are you hoping to have? Like, to be together forever with the family and be happy. The ideal family for these two would be a family that's patient. But a family that's, you know, loving, caring, nurturing, that she can depend on, that she knows that, you know, they're not going to leave, they're not going to, you know, just abandon her, or, you know, drop her off somewhere. Um, but a family that's just very understanding and can handle this unique situation. Despite Lydiana's tough past, she's growing to be a beautiful young girl with a huge heart. Lydiana is definitely creative. She definitely loves to help out in the kitchen. She loves to cook. She loves to clean. <laughs> what teenager likes to do that? I like doing shopping. I like doing my nails and drawing. Draw. Yeah, and I like to make bracelets too. Lydiana also hopes to become a nurse one day so she can be there firsthand. Helping people. Jennifer agrees. Six months is time pressing, but she knows Lydiana and Christopher deserve to find a loving home together. It's not, it, it hasn't been fair for her. And uh, I think that's what makes me emotional is that she didn't have that second, you know, she didn't have that first chance and just the opportunity to give her a second chance and just knowing everything that she's been through and, you know, how she, you know, her emotions, her as well, thinking, you know, everything was her fault and it wasn't. So, you know, I am strongly advocating that they remain together and that she, you know, get to see Christopher's milestones and be a part of Christopher's life. If you're interested in learning more on fostering and adopting Lydiana and Christopher, you can call Children's Home Society of North Carolina. Their information can be found on our website, wnct.com slash home.